Yeah, I am an electric engineer and my employer is BMW Group. And so as an engineer, you're always interested in, in technology, innovation. And so um, as BMW and uh, my children and me and family are dedicated to, to the environmental issues, um, CO2 savings is our, yeah, our, our fate, I would say. And um, uh, the vision of Charin is to create CO2-free mobility so that we combine mobility with the uh, CO2-neutral footprint. And the evolving over time is so that we see uh, a very steep growth rate after the five years. So we are meanwhile um, at roughly 15% of registrations worldwide uh, using um, um, our electric vehicles. And that goes up to 40% currently in China, roughly 20% in uh, Europe and 10% in the US. And so that is a wave. So we have a growth rate of roughly 35% a year. And so that makes sense as an innovator to step into that technology and to help to, to create an ecosystem for charging, which is uh, different to that of fuel stations. So that is an established industry and Charin uh, tries to bring all these stakeholders together to create this ecosystem of recharging a vehicle. Charin is uh, attending the major fairs which are related to electric vehicle and electric vehicle charging and uh, the fairs like uh, um, Evis um, offer the great opportunity to create a network and to bring reality to the table and um, if you can talk about products, seeing products uh, that is always better than having uh, the information from PowerPoint or from consultancy companies and that fits perfectly together if uh, we combine a fair like Evis uh, with exhibition um, booths um, together with the conference and that is the ideal um, combination of having academics, research, investments, technology uh, together in one place and give the opportunity to figure out so what is the specific for the MENA region. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking on the conference about the challenges of charging and as we see um, bigger batteries coming into the market, uh, seeing high competition of um, OEMs and suppliers and technologies, uh, these um, subject of range anxiety uh, seems to be overcome or outdated in time. Um, as, as charring we support with the appropriate charging technology and that means the bigger the battery the bigger the demand of high power charging is and that is what we are doing um, in international standardization bodies we support uh, high power charging we we are defining the new megawatt charging system called MCS so that goes to one two three four five megawatt and that supplies the industry of, uh, of truck transport that is going to, to vessel transport, that is going to uh, mining industry. And that is what we are supporting at Sharin to bring the industry, um, cross industry together to define the ecosystem and the need of charging technology. A very interesting point in addition to the high power charging, uh, which means it can repower in 10 or 20 minutes uh, a complete big battery is uh, to uh, need uh, to, to make use of the battery for um, stabilizing the grid. So we have a big asset in the car. If the car is parked and you don't need the battery, we can feed back that battery energy back to the grid. And that is the uh, coming technology. There's a lot of standards necessary, a lot of technology, and we try to make that feasible for the end customer that uh, the user and owner of a car can make business out of the existing battery. And that is really new because you can't make any business out of your petrol car. And, and that is the innovational part to make that possible and to create the business cases around. And uh, that is what Charin stands for. And that was uh, what I'm talking about yesterday, the opportunities of the technology and not about the risk and whatever. So the attendance of the EVS get uh, the, um, the early information on new trends. So that is what is not on the streets. So we, we have a, like a preview of technology. So the 
other asset is to have just the networking opportunity. So there is, uh, I spent a good, good night yesterday, a uh, good night with the colleagues and discussing about the challenges and to figure out so what is the specifics in MENA compared to other regions as Charin has locations in, in America, in Japan, China, India, Korea, wherever. So we are always looking for uh, the uh, local specifics and uh, the interesting point is that the technology for charging is, uh, is very mature because other countries have been earlier than MENA and the MENA region can go to these, I call that wave two of, uh, of um, electric vehicle distribution to get the latest stuff of technology and that is always good to have the best material and to have the opportunity to have lessons learned from the others who have been earlier and so I'm really uh, positive about the development in that region to participate from the from the knowledge of the other um, uh, areas of the world and to bring that to the table in, in that region.